The NHRI has prepared a series of videos to present to you some products and tools recently developed. Here we will see the stand density management diagram, a tool for managing young, even aged hardwood stands. A stand density management diagram is a tool that helps to assess current competitive status of a forest stand, and then suggest the timing and intensity of thinnings required to increase growth and quality of the crop trees of the future. It is also useful for visualizing stand growth dynamics as a stand matures. Let's see the elements that make a stand density management diagram. It is a four-dimensional graph with the number of trees per hectare on the x-axis and basal area per hectare on the y-axis. In addition, quadratic mean diameter is represented by the inclined vertical lines and the level of stocking is represented by the inclined horizontal lines. These four key stand attributes provide the basis for silvicultural decision making. Broad categories of stocking levels are represented by different zones. The A line represents the maximum stocking where the stand fully utilizes the site potential. Above this line is the zone of competition and mortality. It is the overstocked zone. The B line is the lower limit of stocking required for full occupancy of the site. This is where trees face minimum competition. The crowns are fully developed and are just touching each other. This is the fully stocked zone. The C line refers to the stands that are currently understocked. The Q line is the quality line. We'll explain this in a minute. The first step is to plot the position of the stand in the graph by using the trees per hectare and the basal area of the stand in question. At this point, diameter growth of crop trees will be minimum. Therefore, this is the right time to thin the stand. So, point A is the initial stand condition that can be thinned to point B to the quality line. We want to stop at the quality line because we want to maintain a certain density to favor natural pruning. Opening too much the stand when having small diameter trees will favor growth of lower branches and this results in an abundance of knots in lumber subsequently produced. When keeping the density at a certain level, crop trees will naturally prune the lower branches and have a 5 meter long clear bowl for quality saw logs. So coming back to our stand, with time, the stand will develop towards point C. Then the stand can be thinned again to point D. The stand will then develop towards point E. The stand values at the different points in the graph are provided in this table. We see that the basal area is reduced with thinnings, but it increases between thinnings as the trees grow. So the quadratic mean diameter will increase since the crop trees become larger. Stand density management diagrams were first developed by Gingrich in 1967. Here it's been calibrated for yellow birch dominated stands in New Brunswick. This guide focuses on high quality saw log production, recommended residual density and timing of treatments may differ for other objectives. Feasibility and operability of the treatments should be decided based on professional judgment. So the idea behind here, why we go to B-line is we remove everything that are um, from our stand so that the, we just leave the number of trees that fully occupy the space, but not the competing each other. So we just want to reduce the competition, but maintain the full occupancy of the site. For more details about this product and the NHRI, visit our website or contact us.